Hello everyone, my name is Thomas and welcome back to Bloodborne. Uh, today we're going to be going through more of the game, hopefully taking down Vicar Amelia, and god damn that face is terrifying. So hopefully we've got the audio fixed and for the uh, microphone and the game. If there's a small delay in the webcam, I've been messing around with the settings of that because I've noticed it's being slightly off sync with what I'm saying. So hopefully that'll be improved. It seemed to work from the tests I did. And if you can hear the fan of the PS4, I can't do anything about that. I don't know how to scrub that audio, and I've been learning a lot lately with this, so I'm pretty happy with what I've been accomplishing so far. <sighs> so, Vicar Amelia is one of those bosses I hate fighting. She's wrecked me more times than I'd like to admit. Surgical long gloves. <laughs> this description's kind of unnerving. Ooh. Alrighty. So we're into the Cathedral Ward. Alright, so how do I not get killed here? I know I'm going to be attacked. It's not a question of if, just when. Oh, crap. Also, as you guys may have noticed, we switched uh, gear to a uh, Kirk Greathammer. Mostly because I just like the way this is using a sword in these games. But we're not doing very good damage, I think. Might need to switch back to the sock lever for now. And no bullets. Great. I really don't remember this area too much. <laughs> Die, crow dogs. Oh. Go away. Nobody likes you. I don't even think these enemies have a name, really. <laughs> They're just crow dogs. Got more insights. Now, I can be kind of blamed for this, because it's been a long time since I've played this, though, but um, I don't really remember what the uh, thing does. What are you doing? Oh, you're telling your buddy to attack me. That seems fair. Come on. Harry for days. I love how he just, like, watched his friend die and just like, okay. No, dude. It's not how this works. Oh. This is how it works. I see. Ha! Partial berry. Nice. You'd be so much better off if I hadn't accidentally upgraded the, uh, stupid... Oh, we got a wooden shield. That's great. <laughs> If we hadn't accidentally upgraded that stupid pistol. Oh, that's charming. Blood on the baby carriage. So, there's a way to go here. I just don't remember this area, because... This area just came from the crows. Down this way? I mean, I see guys down there. Looks like it could be. Nope, can't go over that way. So how do I progress here? There's got to be a way to keep this story moving. There's a ledge up there. So, do we... Because I know this won't open. This is a shortcut. So, what did I need to do? Oh, I need to go the other way out the door. My bad. This was the shortcut. That's my mistake. Like I said, I played. The, I liked this game a lot when I played it, so I made sure I only played it like once, so that I wouldn't get tired of it. And then by the time the DLC came around, I was kind of involved in a couple different games. Okay, there we go. Got a lantern, boy. So this is just a free hit. As far as I'm concerned. Nope, not a good idea. So the timing for that's pretty consistent. I do kind of hate how you get, like, punished, though, for mistiming a parry, because you can't infinitely parry in this game. It costs, uh, silver shots. Wasn't there a guy over here two seconds ago? And there's, like, no loot among all these tombstones, pretty much. I don't remember if it's left or up. So we're gonna go this way. Oh, this is a trap. Okay, maybe it's not a trap. The 
So I think this is actually, if you uh, follow the one direction you go, you can actually see the uh, bridge where you fought the Cleric Beast. It may be this direction. I know one direction leads down to Old Yarnum, and that's where we got to go eventually. It might be this way? It very well could be. I just don't have a very strong memory for the maps of this game. Demon Souls was so linear, I could memorize it without too much difficulty, but this game, I've always had some trouble with it. Alright, come on, boys. Let's let's not do this. Come on. Oh, wrong button. Not a wrong button again. Okay, I want some crowd control here. So we're gonna go with the hammer. And we missed up. Please don't die. <laughs> nice. Alrighty. Cost us some blood vials, but we got that done in the end. That's the cool part about the switching weapons in this game. You can actually... They have very different purposes. Like, a hammer can be used for crowd control. It can be used for, like... A lot of different and useful stuff. Whereas... Some items are kind of useless the whole way. Like, I mean, the sock cleavers is a pretty solid weapon. I think it scales well... It's not the best in the game, but it's not meant to be either, so... It's starting piece of equipment. It's meant to do good damage for the level you're at, and I need to get away from that sniper, because he's going to take me out. Wow. Look at these dogs. I hate dogs in Souls games. They're so annoying. It's not like they're hard to fight. They're just hard to hit. Like, the hitboxes don't line up well on them. Alright, boy. Come on. You're just really bad if I can get up behind you without running. You had a rifle. You had one job, man. One job. So I think we have to go this way to get the story moving. But again, take anything I say with a grain of salt. Yeah, we have to get this switch pulled, I think. More Madman's knowledge. I'm not sure what the inside does this early on in the game. I know there's that one shop where you can buy stuff, but I'm not sure there's anything worth getting at this point. And I might have been go Oh, I might be heading toward Blood Star Beast. I mean, that's possible. Yeah, I think Victor Am Amelia was the other way. You're a beast hunter, aren't you? Yes, I am. I am a beast hunter. That's precisely how I started. Out. You started out. Alfred, protege of Master Lugarius, hunter of vile bloods. Let's say you are pretty much different hunters than both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Yeah, sure. Why not cooperate? Very good. Take this to our acquaintance. So we got a gesture and fire paper. Sacred practice. Well, there must be. Go on. Just tell me what piques your interest. Talk about the healing church. The healing church is so, I'm not going to let these guys always talk all the way through, because actually, I, it can take a little bit. Mm. I know these videos are kind of long, but I kind of want to just go through the whole game, and you can't see all the text anyway, and I kind of talk over it. So I'll kind of just read it and then skip through most of the time. And that counts, and that counts as the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. Bergenworth. Bergenworth is an old place of learning, and the Tomb of the Gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. But once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be tracked back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the passage which allows the passage through the gate. I bid, bid you farewell. It has May been a pleasure. May the good blood guide, guide your way. So, what is he doing here? Anyway, doesn't matter. So, I guess we're going after Blood Star of Beast then. I mean, we could backtrack to face Amelia. It might be a bit easier. But we're probably just going to head to the next uh, lamp post and see what that does for us. So, we pulled the switch, so we are good to go. I saw you. Stealth is not this game's forte. I mean, there are some well-hidden enemies, but there are some that are just like, come on, man. Just stop. You're embarrassing yourself. 
Black eye fell on the stairs. Weird. <laughs> so I'm assuming this is a trap. I mean, generally, anything that gives you items is a pretty much a guaranteed trap. So the Blood Starved Beast is very weak to fire, which is why you're getting all the fire paper and the, uh, well, basically everything. Let's equip the uh, item. Molotov. Oh, Molotovs. So if you hit them with a Molotov, then an oil urn, and then, like, fire paper, you can do, like, extra damage, because oil makes fire damage better in this game. Uh, do I want an Amelia, or do I want the Blood Starved Beast? Amelia is a shorter run back, that's for sure. But it might be better to get this done first. If we hit a lamppost, we'll go after Amelia. I just don't think backtracking is very interesting. Okay, we got a tempering bloodstone gem. Oh, we got a saving screen. Ooh, we got a werewolf. As if I didn't kill you in the first bit of the game. See, this is the problem with this. It's hard to set up a visceral from this. I mean, for them, no. They can get me easily. For them, this is like everyday work. Come on. Booty blast. Nope. <laughs> so this is like the dangerous kind of enemy in this game. Dangerous kind of enemy, I'm fine. I get the guys with the stupid brick and they kill me. And I run off of an edge after a pig. Maybe I should reevaluate how good I am at this game, I think. Yeah. Uh, do I want to go down here? I mean, I really don't want to go anywhere in this game because it's creepy as shit. But, uh. I don't really have a choice. Antidote. Oh, yeah, so the Blood Star Beast also poisons you, so equip an antidote. Up until now, you haven't really needed the items. They can give you, like, extra damage. Oh, right. Uh, did I get the torch? Thing. Did I? Was I smart enough? I was not. Can I get a torch equipped? I don't have a torch. Oh, lamp post. Should be fine. I think we're good. What the heck is all this? Yeah, so I'm playing offline right now because my internet provider is down, which is why also the Super Mario Maker video is going to be, uh... I wanted to do a video for the three-year anniversary, but that's why I wasn't able to upload one on the day of. Because they did not. Yeah, so this is old Yarnum. It's kind of a bleh area. Uh, hmm. Vicar Amelia or Bloodstarved Beast? Let's go after Bloodstarved Beast. We're already closer. Inspect. This town is long abandoned. Hunters not wanted here. So we get a few warnings, then we get attacked. But uh, this area is kind of really neat. So I lit the lamppost? Yeah, I did. I think. So these things are basically the crystal lizards from uh, Dark Souls. Darn it. Get back here. Stop running. Now. These guys give you upgrade materials, so they are worth chasing down. And I think we may have screwed ourselves. Sort of. I don't know. It's hard to say. I really don't remember this game all that well. The Blood Star Beast is over this way. Eventually. But I mean, it really comes down to how much of the game am I actually going to skip. <laughs> Through, you know, well-timed, well-placed shortcuts. But I mean, also to an extent, I think that's why these kind of games are so well-received. Because they are so well designed. Like, oh, you played Blood, you played Bloodborne like five hundred times. Here, take this shortcut so you can get back to the boss faster. Why am I going this way? I don't even think this is the way I'm supposed to go. I just can't remember which way I'm supposed to go. What am I doing over here? Um, uh, got cold blood dew. Oh, 
oh, this takes us right back to the, uh, gotcha. All right. Like I said, this is not my favorite Souls game. I mean, it's my second favorite, which I know it doesn't seem very gracious to say, oh, this is my second favorite thing of all time, but Demon Souls is my favorite Souls game. This game is close. Definitely close, but not... It's not open from this side. So this is a shortcut eventually, but I think... Yeah, I think we're screwed. I think we gotta walk back. Oh, no, we can... No, we cannot jump down there. Yeah, but that's where the boss is, right over there? Yeah. Because that's an enemy right there where the uh, smoke is rising. I think it's a poison enemy, maybe? I'm not 100% on that. This is one of those areas I just... When I played this game, I did not enjoy it, so I just kind of like blasted through it really quick. So for Vicar Amelia and Bloodstar Beast, actually a good strategy, despite what I usually say would be to level up health and endurance so you can get more dodges in and therefore, like, you know, survive longer. Because the problem with these bosses isn't that, like, you can't fight them. It's more the case that they don't... Damage is easy. Okay, we can't open that door. She's gonna ambush us. I pretty much know it. I think there's another one of them. Yep, I was right. I was right. Why was I right? Ugh. Nope, that was a waste. Okay. That should be one down. One to go. <laughs> That's why I hate using like, items in these games, because they usually just go over the thing's head. Alright, torch. Good. So now we can have some fire if we need it, so we get some light. So we gotta go this way now, because the other way is just back to where we were. What? Oh, don't tell me I gotta climb that ladder again. No. Please. Alright, we're just gonna use the hunter's mark and get out of here. The bold hunter's mark. Alright, we're gonna head back to the lamppost because I screwed up. I'm not climbing that freaking ladder again. Well... I really, like I said, there's ways to get shortcuts, and if you know where to get the shortcut, great. Some people who like play this game all the time, they can get through these areas in like a couple minutes, but... Ooh, so basically, our playthrough is going to be the whole game, the DLC, and but not the Chalice Dungeons, because those are a pain. In every sense of the word. Alright, I think we should go level up, because we have 46 of these, and... Right now, we're going to need more health for taking on either Vicar Amelia or the Bloodstarved Beast, so. Oh, God, nice wig. Why would I want a wig? Oh, my gosh. Welcome home. Welcome home. What is your desire? To channel Blood Echoes. Very well, then. So, we got enough for one level. Okay, we'll buy some supplies while we're here, then. Um, so strength will affect the hammer, which is why it says, um, secondary attack 1 and 2. Skill doesn't affect either at this point. So we're just going to go with strength. You can also go for more endurance if you want an extra dodge or two. But let's see what we can get with the items. Farewell, good Because we picked up some, uh, blood. We picked up some consumable blood. Ugh, that's actually kind of quite gross when you say it. <laughs> So we got forty six we got fifty six hundred blood now. Yeah, that's all we got. Alright, let's go upgrade our Well, we'll see what we can upgrade. If we can upgrade the hammer, we might have to go with that. Or to buy weapons. So the Kirk hammer can go up, or we can get the sock lever up. They're both the same level, I guess? They look like it. Kirk hammer scales much better in strength, so we're gonna I think we're gonna have to go with that. Fortified. I mean, we could also level up the saw cleaver, but it might be a good idea to get the, uh, another item leveled up. Oh, we never leveled up the this at all. Okay, fine. We'll go with leveling them both up. One's gonna be my fast weapon, the other's gonna be the, uh... Oh, okay, our gear is good. 
So do we have any gems we can add? Oh, we do. Okay, so we got a Tempering Bloodstone gem, which will raise our physical attack by... Well, it's like one, two. Uh, I mean, it looks like the Sock Lever attacks faster, but Kirk Hammer does more damage. And this is a percentage-based increase, so I go with that. Alrighty, let's head to lower level up. Welcome home. What yeah, yeah, it? yeah. Welcome home. Channel Blood Echoes. Let's go. Uh, after this, we still have like what, two. Oh, we don't. We do not. We have two hundred and six. All right. Farewell. May you. F I think if we're gonna be upgrading this, we might as well use it now. So does. Do I need to use a different headstone now? Oh, I could go after Vicar Amelia now. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get her done with. Hunter Axe. Oh, uh, yeah, that's one of the first ones. Yeah, I don't particularly... I don't think I've ever used the Axe. I've used the... I used the Saw Cleaver the first time, and I think I tried out the Cane on New Game Plus a little bit, like the moveset. But I never actually... Went with the axe. I don't even know how to use it, really. Might have been a better idea for damage, but... I, I like sticking with what I'm comfortable with. Alrighty. So now we gotta go after Amelia, which means we go this way. Almost forgot again. That would have been embarrassing. So we can let that guy go, because we don't really need him. And go after the other bellboy. Hello, bellboy. Hello, bellboy. Why are you so easy to do that to? Yeah, if you're going to be going a lot of viscerals, you're going to want to uh, definitely level up skill. Ill. Forgot about you. You look like you'd one shot me. One shot! <laughs> Hi. Hello. Don't notice me. Do I blast your booty? Oh, it crap, it did not work. Holy crap. You don't... Can I not visceral you? I mean, that would make sense, but... Alrighty. Alright, I think this is a good time to use this. No, it is not. Nope, that was useless. Oh no, I used the wrong button. Uh, okay, we're going with the hammer because we gotta do some extra damage to this boy. All right, let's try to space this. Holy crap! This guy is like infinity health. Oh, I trapped myself. What did I do? Why did I do this? Can you not get to me? I don't think you can get to me. I mean, I'm not trying to avoid him. I'm just... Come on. I mean, it's pretty simple. He's gonna do the sweeping. Move in. Oh, no! I mistimed that. I thought he only did one sweep. Die! Just die. Ooh, that was a big... That was a big guy. Ooh. Wow. Hunter stuff. He's got a top hat. Oh, it's not as good. Hunter... Uh, we get different... We lose some stats. We get better overall. I think we're going to switch that gear over. But we don't want the top hat. Yeah, we get more resistance on this stuff, so. That guy surprised me a bit. I thought he was moving and alive, and I'm like, nah! Okay, so what does this do? What am I doing? Did I want to pull that? Uh... Or 
does that like just lock me in? Does this open? Oh, right, okay. I need to open that gate, need to buy that emblem. So we're screwed. We gotta go the other way. So much for Vicar Amelia in this video. Oh well. We will. We're just. You know what? We're having a good time. We're chilling. Yeah, this is the way that leads toward the uh, fridge. I'm gonna drag this guy back a bit because I don't want to trigger both of these guys. How does he not hear the gunshot? He must be deaf. Or something. You're gone. Alright, better switch over to the sword, because again, if we're not gonna use it, it's not really the point to having it. Oh, darn. I'm not sure how to hit you. I'm a little annoyed that he takes two shots that hurt any of these guys. Oh, no! No! <gasps> We're alive. We are alive! We're alive. Heal. Heal again. Heal third time. We totally messed that one up. Okay, you know what? Let's go, buddy. Let's go. It's annoying trying to dodge past them. No. You don't get to do this anymore. You suck. Go away. Man, he... I almost choked there bad. Don't do that. Oh, right. Stupid thing in the sweet spot. Alright, some weapons in this game actually have like a sweet spot, and if you don't hit the sweet spot, it does nothing, basically. Why would I go down there? Yeah, that's the bridge where the uh, cleric beast would be. Right there. You can tell because you can, you know, see everything. I think there was supposed to be a door there initially, but they didn't activate it or something, or they took it out of the game. For whatever reason. Oh, hello. I think everybody in Bloodborne has hearing problems. Because, uh... Oh. Well, let's not uh, get caught up with that guy right away. Let's see if we can get behind him in Visceral. That looks pretty dangerous. I don't even remember why I want to come this way necessarily, you know? Yeah, I can see that. I saw the Blood Shard monster, guys. Don't worry. I saw him. I just didn't have the time to, you know, get him. Holy crap. <laughs> this is a mistake. Oh, we whiffed that one. Uh, that was a weird dodge. Okay, so that's like a one-shot kind of move. Not a one-shot kind of move. Not a good idea. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, actually. He doesn't seem to do combos. Oh, blood vials. That's good. It's sort of a problem in this game. Like, you can run out of blood vials, and then you're kind of, uh... You're kind of bone a So, I need to save up 10,000 blood echoes to get to Vicar Amelia. Yeah, like, it was stuff like this that... The game introduced, but it never really followed through on. Like, does this game have mimics? I'm just going to go off the assumption it doesn't. Yeah, I just got more tempering. Yeah, like, there's a door here, and it says, like, it can't be open, but I don't understand why it can't be open, actually. That's something that's never made sense about this. I mean, it does make sense. I'm guessing either something got lost in making the game, or they just decided against it in the end. Why I'm breaking all these? I think there's a reason to it, though. So, yeah, like, these are areas that are like. Oh, those things are full of bones. Why are we doing this? 
Well, he shattered everything. So this is kind of a dead end. I don't get it. Like, why even have this area? Like, I think it was supposed to connect to the, um... Cleric Beast, and this is supposed to be your way up to Cathedral Ward. Because if you look here, this is where the Cleric Beast would be sitting, I think. Because there's even that drop down for it to get into the arena. But I don't really understand why this doesn't actually connect that way. Like, what was the point? Like, I mean, okay, I could, I could maybe go along with the assumption that it got... This area was too hard for a low-level player to get through. They didn't know enough about the game yet, or... Yeah, like, this, to me, doesn't particularly add up. Why is there a switch here? Maybe the switch is to trap the bat, the big guy, so you can just run right through? We could try that. And we get, I guess if we come back next time and the switch is closed and we don't see the really big guy, then it worked. Sorry to say, it looks like an episode will be gone without a boss fight. My bad. I can level us up one more time and then take us back to old yarn. I'm gonna level up off stream, up not off stream, off video though, so that way you guys don't have to watch me struggle. Yeah, doors closed too. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna pick the vid next video up right here. Thanks for watching, everybody. My name's Thomas. I'll see you all in the next one. If you have any suggestions for games you'd like to see on the channel, or anything really, comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.